Hello, my name is Carsten Seeburg and I'm responsible for product definition at Caterpillar Marine. We are here in Rostock, one of the most modern engine test beds in Europe. Behind me, you can see the new ADM 25E engine together with our new Caterpillar STR system. STR stands for Selective Catalytic Reduction. But first of all, you will ask yourself, for what purpose do I need an STR system? Since 2011, all our marine engines meet the worldwide applicable IMO2 emission standard with on-engine emission reduction technology. Starting this year, emission standard IMO3 has already taken effect in some areas. We have decided to develop an SCR system in order to achieve a sustainable reduction in nitrogen oxides according to IMO3 guidelines. Coming from an IMO2 level, the SCR system must reduce nitrogen oxides by nearly 75% in order to meet IMO3 values. Where is IMO3 emission compliance currently required? Today, the east and west coast of North America, Hawaii and a part of the Caribbean are already IMO3 emission control areas. And it is expected that further IMO3 areas will be added. If I want to enter any of the existing emission control areas with the ship key late after January 1st, 2016, I need a technology to reduce nitrogen oxides. Even this technology is provided by our CAT STR system. And now we take a closer look to the system. This is a dosing unit. This is the heart of the Caterpillar STR system. It's a 100% in-house development. You see here the ECU. This is the same one we use in our engine. We have a very clear um, component design for easy access, maintenance and repair. The entire unit is very compact and robust design. This is ideal for the marine business. This is a mixing tube. Um, it's about two and a half meters long, a diameter about uh, 500 millimeters. And here is the OREA lens located. Um, the OREA fluid is coming from the dosing cabinet. Um, at, at the top we have this electronic enclosure with the two sensors for nitrogen oxide uh, measurements and a back pressure sensor. So we can measure the nitrogen coming from the, from the engine. Um, this pipes looks relatively simple, but in fact it is the result of complex flow calculation and intensive testing on the testbed here in Rostock. Only this complex development ensures that we have a good mixture of the urea solution and the hot exhaust gases to avoid the crystallization process. The CAT STR system for medium speed engines is a platform concept with two different mixing tubes in three different reactor housing with different numbers of substrates we can provide it for engines between 1020 and 5400 kilowatts. This is a reaction chamber. We use this model for the 8 and 9 M25E engine. Inside we will find the substrates. Um, the substrates are only to work in a limited temperature level. So if the temperature is too high, the elements will be destroyed. If it is too low, they cannot work. So for that, we have this electronic enclosure, which is connected with three sensors, two of them, and a nitrogen oxide sensor at the top, as well as a temperature sensor, and one temperature sensor additional in the inlet. And all these information signals will go to the dosing cabinet. This is a service door of the reactor housing. Um, behind that door you will find the substrate cassettes. Um, you open the door and can take them relatively easy out. Um, a substrate at a rate of about 30 kilograms. Um, the lifetime of the substrates are in the range of 15,000 operating hours, depending a little bit to the load profile. The wastegate is a connection between the exhaust manifold and the turbocharger outlet with a valve in between. We use this system as a temperature control on the M25E engine. While increasing the load, the exhaust temperatures are decreasing. In this moment, we open the wastegate and some of the exhaust gases bypass the turbocharger in the direction of the STR system. The Caterpillar STR system for medium speed engines includes this dosing cabinet, the mixing tube and the reaction chamber. Together we see substrates and four counter flanges together with the IMOT3 exhaust gas emission certificate. 
Optional available is an Urea pump kit and a wiring kit for easy installation. All SCR components are class approved and the entire system is in accordance to IMO Scheme A certified. That means no time consuming and cost intensive emission measurement and certification process during the commissioning phase on the shipyard. That means you can install in Caterpillar IMO 3 SCR system accept the installation of the additional components as simple as an IMO2 engine.